Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so I'm planning to do um, a little kind of like series. I know I said that before. I said it multiple times, and I never done it. Um, but it was just because it wasn't getting views, and I mean there wasn't really just much stuff to do on the game that I was going to do it on. Um, there is a game, however, on Android, which I know I can do PS4 games also, which I will be uploading videos on a few games, um, but there's been a lot of shit going on recently, and I think it would be pretty cool to do, like, updates on, you know, talk about topics that's going on, and so forth, um, as you know, in a couple previous videos, I was talking about this net neutrality thing, that is, once again, being fucked with, <clears throat> Now I did do I did watch a couple interviews where I think I think it was a couple senators and shit like that, you know, people with power pretty much. But I mean, they seem to have good points. They're going like, "Well, you're trying to pass this, you're trying to take this away." And what you're saying it whatever you're saying is you're saying, "Oh, you don't have any fucking evidence for it." Of course he doesn't have any fucking evidence for it. Because he thinks this is going to make money, and it's not going to fucking make money because barely anybody can afford the internet they got now. God damn it. <clears throat> Nobody can barely afford internet. They're, like, struggling now just to keep internet. And now they're going to take that away and give everybody the fucking freedom to charge the fuck out of everybody. That's fucked up. But, um, also, um... One of my favorite YouTubers uh, recently passed away. Um, the Angry Grandpa. Uh, when I heard about it, I, I honestly didn't know what the fuck to think about it. I was just hoping it was a sick prank. But, nope. It wasn't. That really did suck. Since I've watched them since they were in the trailer park when they first started on YouTube, it uh, it was pretty, pretty fucked up. But uh, yeah. Um, Battlefront Two, of course, was a fucking disappointment. We've already been through that. Um, and also, I did not get to watch the Game Awards yet. So, I will probably do an update on that whenever I get a chance to watch it. But, I'm going to go ahead and go over my top 5 games of 2017 that I played. Now, regard this is what I've played in 2017 that I like. So, even like maybe it's some games that I finally got a chance to play on the PS4. So, it might be older games. It might not include new releases. But most of this list is new releases. Um, number five is Wolfenstein 2. Um, I was kind of disappointed with it. I mean, it wasn't too big of a game like how New Order was. I love the New Order. But uh, the, just like the fucking... I don't know. I just, I, I, I just couldn't get into it. Um, it was super fucking tough, and I was playing on a pretty easy difficulty. I can't remember exactly what it was. It's not the easiest fucking difficulty, but it, it's somewhere around in there. But it, it was really fucking tough to get through anything. Um, I know, I know most Wolfenstein games are like that, but damn, two or three shots and I'm dead. It's like, what the fuck? Um, graphics were pretty much the same as New Order, besides maybe... It, it did look like it had a little bit of a touch-up. So, yeah, it, it was pretty... It, the graphics were pretty decent. Um, wasn't buggy either. It actually was not buggy. Um, for being a new release that I actually got right when it fucking released, which I barely ever do that. Um... I was worried about it having bugs. I mean, I was just gonna fucking return it if if it did because I had a fucking warranty on it. But um, because honestly, that's the best way to fucking beat GameStop: buy a fucking warranty, take it back, and say it's fucked up. 
and you're gonna say, hey, I want my fucking money back. I paid the warranty, so I, I want my money back. Um, but yeah, it didn't have any bugs. Um, I, I was pretty surprised. I mean, if it if it did, I didn't notice. Or maybe I was just one of the lucky people who didn't get a buggy copy. But yes, um, number four um, was Mafia 3. I finally played Mafia 3. I finally brought myself around to playing a, the damn game. Um, I mostly didn't want to play it because I wanted to continue Vito's story. I didn't want to get start off with a complete new character. Um, but it was honestly pretty... It's pretty good. Um, I haven't beat it yet. I'm still playing it. Um, but so far, what I played of it, it's it's pretty good. Um, I know people were complaining about it was being it was buggy and everything. But since the game's been around for a while, if you wanted to play it but you didn't want to, now would probably be the best time to play it. Okay, so number three. <laughs> Sorry, give me one sec. Two mm. K. 18 WWE the graphics on that game were beautiful it was absolutely beautiful I mean yes it's it's just another WWE game there's not much of a change besides graphics um I didn't play 2017 so I don't know if exactly if I could say if it's worth or not picking it up um maybe when it drops down to maybe 20 bucks yeah go ahead and pick it up but Right now, 40, 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, no, it's it's not really worth. I mean, it's it's just a WWE game. Um, because as far as I know, I don't think they're doing story modes on there no more. I didn't see a story mode on there anywhere unless I overlooked it. But uh, yeah, I don't know why they took that out for. Number two. Um, let's see. Oh, no. The, the last two are going to be pretty difficult to choose from, honestly. I, this is not a pre-made list. I'm literally thinking of all this now. <laughs> I, I Like I said, when I do videos, it's just out of the fucking blue when I decide to do a video. Um, so, let's see. Let's see what games I've played. I'm trying to think of the new release I've played. I know I've played Wolfenstein. Uh, 2K18. I'm definitely not fucking putting World War Two in there because I couldn't fucking play it. Um, unplayable piece of shit. Oh uh, fuck. What other game? Okay, yeah. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. Now that was a fucking nostalgia. Um... It, it was uh, it, it was beautiful touch up. It really was the picture, the sound. They did a damn good job on that. I love it. That was damn good what they did with that game. Um, it's nothing. It's not really much new. Um, but it it was good. It was good. I got to unlock some of the trophies I didn't get to unlock on the original. Modern Warfare game on like PS3, so it was it was pretty cool. Plus, I I, I couldn't really add on to them because I did not sync all my trophies. If I did sync my trophies, I would probably be a fucking level 23 uh, or 30 or somewhere around there because I played a fuck ton of games. Um, now number one, which is pretty difficult because considering the fact I played a lot of games that released, um. It, they're pretty old. I mean, like, they may be $20, $30 to pick up now. Uh, like, I think Modern Warfare was, like, I think it's still 40 bucks, But I think I got it for, like, 20 because I got on Black Friday at GameStop. Um, it's kind of difficult because I played, like, I'm still playing currently a lot of good games. But, uh, <clears throat> number one, shit. I don't know if anybody else ever has that problem, but it, it's pretty difficult to try and play so many games. And when somebody asks you, what's your favorite game? It's just like, I want to fucking choke you. Why would you do that? Why would you ask me that question? Like, can I pick 30? If, if I can pick 30, then I'll tell you 30. But um, one, I, I can't do it. Um, and it's kind of like that with like anything 
with a low number like five like it's it's really difficult i mean yeah i got the first couple down um pretty well in my head but number one and two that's the hardest ones to do i mean it's like you gotta pick a game that deserves the credit of being up there shit and i really did not play too many new releases those are really i mean i don't think they released that many new ones besides Battlefront 2, which I'm sure is fucking on play. Uh, World War 2, I'm sure is fucking on play because I wasted my money on it already. Oh, what the fuck? This sucks. And no, I have not had a chance to play Assassin's Creed Origins. Unfortunately. I'm working on it. <clears throat> if I get it, I might do gameplay videos on that, honestly. Um, I might do it with some of the other games I got. Honestly, I think I'm going to give the number one place to <clears throat> Wolfenstein the New Order and the Old Blood. It was a little combo pack that was at Walmart. They were trying to sell it for 30 bucks, even though it was advertised on their website for 20 So I got it for 20 bucks. Um, Like I said, the New Order was fucking amazing. I, I love the New Order. And the Old Blood was actually pretty good, too. Um, which I think it takes place before the New Order because the years were different on the descriptions. So I'm going, eh, I guess it's before the New Order, as far as I know. I might have to look up more into that, but I mean, I just I just played it for the hell of it, but it, it was still amazing. Um, ow, fuck. Um, yeah, and Christmas time is right around the corner, so I'm hoping I get some games for Christmas, because I want to do gameplay videos, and I guess really want to get a game that will be fun to do a series on, and I do it all the way through. Um, the only thing is, I would only be able to play that game while I'm doing recordings with Sucks. Because if it's a really good game, I'll, I just like to play the games. And I mean, if I'm not going to get views, I'm not going to waste my time doing all that. But, eh, we'll see. I will see you guys in the next video.